Okay, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games, and this is sort of where the two halves of my YouTube channel are going to collide. So, as most of you probably know, I like making technical videos about how to do 3D things in Game Maker Studio 2, and I also like doing Let's Plays. I also like just in addition to talking about making games, I just like to sit down and play video games and talk about them and record myself doing that and throw it on the internet for the whole world to see. And... I suppose it was a bit of an inevitability that the um, these two things collide and that I start making videos of me playing 3D games in Game Maker that other people have made. Welcome to Buck Up and Drive. So this is a 3D game in Game Maker that someone is making. You may have seen screenshots or GIFs of this floating around the internet on Twitter or the Game Maker Discord or various other social media places. Um, it's actually started to get quite a bit of attention in recent days, which is quite cool. So this is a racing game, as you can probably tell. It belongs to what I would like to call the ad absurdum uh, subgenre of racing games. And if you don't know what I mean by that, you will see in a minute. The game isn't fully out. Uh, this is just what we have right now as I'm recording this is a, a demo. Uh, the full game is set to come out on it looks like the 21st of August 2021. I may play more of it then, but for now we're going to have a little bit of fun with the demo. Uh, before I do that, before I jump into it, I am going to just read the, uh, read the description on this itch.io page because I think this is a bit of a gold standard for what people marketing their game should be writing. And by the way, if you do want to play this game and or this demo for yourself, I will have a link to it in the video description, uh, a link to the itch.io page. So without further ado, where are we going? As individuals, as a species, what awaits us at the end of this road? Is there an end? Was there a beginning? Was there an beginning? I'm sorry. Does this road symbolize real life in the sense that there's no turning back? And how does pineapple juice fit into all this? Maybe I should just shut up. Buck up and drive. The release date is set to August 21st, 2021. Uh, if you want, there are links to the uh, Fabio Fonta's Twitter, Discord, and FAQ page. Uh, there's a little disclaimer informing us that the following is subject to change until release. Features. Endless driving game inspired by arcade classics with simple yet intense gameplay featuring a total slap in the face of realism, hence the ad absurdum, uh, and, a, as a, and a kick in the spleen too. I guess slapping realism in the face wasn't enough. A procedurally generated track with multiple environments to visit, ranging from the somewhat realistic to the completely absurd go to hell, literally. Pink, backflipping, trucks, on, the fu <laughs> moon. As one of the environments that you can visit. Uh, go 1v1 against another player or CPU in a fighting mode with cars. I don't know either, I just came up with it while in the shower. That is a completely valid way to game dev. Uh, customizable car decals through external image files. Put eggplants. Yes, eggplants all over the cars for all I care. Uh, controls for both game modes are eight directional and one button. Play one-handed if you want. Keep your other hand for... holding orange juice. Yeah. You know what, Fabio? Available for both Windows and Ubuntu, other Linux distros may work. After the game is on Steam, will take a bit though, I will let those that buy the game here claim a Steam key later. Uh, more features to be added through updates, undoubtedly to be uh, to be cooked up while in the shower. Demo content v 0.2.0d, that's a mouthful. Uh, one playable car, the Ferrero, interesting. With all 16 colors and support for custom decals, driving mode with five environments to cycle through, a few gameplay segments aren't present and scores won't save. Uh, game settings will save though. 1v1, 1v1 mode with the same environments to pick up, pick from as the driving mode. It's mechanically identical to the full game, only lacking cosmetic variety and a couple secrets to find. Interesting. Uh, system requirements, Windows operating system, Windows 7 or later, 64-bit only, in other words, anything that's not ancient. Processor, 2 gigahertz dual core, in other words, anything that's not ancient. RAM, 4 gigabytes, anything that's not ancient. Graphics, anything that's not ancient. Storage, 100 megabytes of available space to change through updates. And it uh, looks like that's about it. The, uh, the requirements are the same for Ubuntu as well, aside from, obviously, the operating system. 
Of note, this game is meant to run at 60 FPS if you can't get that on your machine and are experiencing slowdown. Lowering the resolution may help on lower, on older slash lower end hardware. And I guess more information we want. The uh, This was updated two days ago, published 52, status in development, and so on and so forth. Genre, racing, action, and fighting. Um, I guess it does not recognize the ad absurdum genre. Their loss. Anyway. Let's see. I am going to open the uh, open the game folder, and I'm going to poke around through the uh, through the file system a little bit, just because I like game technology, and that's what I do. I see inside the uh, the models folder, there's the usual game maker data file stuff. So there's the executable, the data.win file. Uh, there's a uh, an execute shell dill. There is a little readme, which I believe just uh, basically recaps what's on the itch page, what's on the itch page, plus um a few notes about Linux. Uh, inside the model folder, there's a bunch of like mbuff files. I assume those are like model buffers. I assume those are just like raw vertex data. Um, and there are uh, traffic. So shut up and drive police. Shut up and drive police spiked ball. Fun. Uh, hatchback, a truck, and a sedan. There's a bunch of test models. That's interesting. Test terrain. Test sky. Okay. I wonder if those are actually in the game or if they're just there for develop development purposes. Uh, there's the Ferrero, there's the decals, there's Will 1 and there's Will 2. Alright, enough poking around. Let us open up the game and let us buck up and drive. Okay, so I've um, I played a little bit of this, uh, mo mostly just to make sure that it like worked the way that I thought it did. Um, looking in the uh, looking in the controls, I am playing this with an Xbox controller. You can play it on the mouse and keyboard as well, or at least the keyboard. Um, the, uh, the video, is so that you have the window size, the resolution, full screen, v-sync, the frame rate. I've turned the frame rate on, just because that may or may not be helpful. I have a fairly bog-standard computer setup, so I don't really expect any, uh, any issues with a, uh, with a Game Maker game. Um, let's see, I think that's it. There's a how-to-play screen, which is just basically straightforward, you just drive. And let's, uh... Let's get into the let's get into the game. Endless Road is the racing mode, and I believe Shifty Gear is the, uh, the basically the fighting mode. Uh, we can real quick customize our car. So right now we just have the Ferrero. Uh, we can unlock more cars in the full game. We have the color. Um, what looks coolest? Well, I feel like the uh, the artist watching this would inform me that like green, uh, teal, and blue are definitively the cool colors. So uh, with that in mind, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with blue. Uh, decals. Some of us were talking about this game in the Game Maker Discord uh, periodically, whenever uh, whenever Fabio posts screenshots or gifts or whatever. And I believe we uh, we established we uh, we concluded that putting putting red flames, putting orange flames on your car makes it go faster. So I'm going to be put it, I'm going to be putting orange flames in my car. And um, okay, let's get into it. So I'm going to, I'm going to drive. I seem to be going forward automatically. I don't have to hold the A button as I do in Mario Kart. Uh, left trigger to drift. And I can smash into cars. So this is going approximately as well as my driving in real life. All right, good to know. So we, uh, next time I come up on something resembling a curve, I will try to do a little bit of drift. I can do that. I can go a little bit faster. Um, can I uh, thread the needle? No, I cannot. All right, perfect. Driving like a uh, true New Jersey, New Jersey motorist. Ooh, sorry about that. Hate it when that happens. That's uh, that's what you get for only doing 75 on the parkway, guys. Um, let's see. I have not seen any ramps. I know there are ramps. Oh god. Wow. Okay, this is miserable. I know there are ramps that I can, that I should be able to uh, that I should be able to like bounce off of, but I have not seen any yet, which is a bit of a shame. All right. Take that, truck. That's what I think about you. Uh, <laughs> that was terrible. Let me, uh, five crashes, 338 score. Let me just take a, take a drink of this orange juice. I brushed my teeth before I sat down to record this, so that tastes kind of gross. Ready? All right, let's do this again. I'm probably going to do this for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, see, we are, we are once again in the, uh, the green hill zone or whatever. Um, this text on the screen. Okay, yes, let's dismiss that. Uh, fortunately, okay, here we go. Here's a bit of a curve. Ah, oh, ran off the road before I could really make use of that, uh, that power slide there. Here's a ramp. I missed the ramp. All right, great. 
Uh, if I were to drift, like, through a truck... Oops. This is going well. Alright, there we go. Going off the ramp and uh, doing, a, doing a couple stunts. Um, if I, uh, if I can sort of... If I can sort of bounce off the, bounce off the other cars, that would help. Alright, let's, uh, let's try, try drifting. I think I ran off the road again. Oh no! No, help! You guys! I hate it when that happens. I hate it when there's two cars in front of you on the on the highway and they're both like they're both going slow, they're both doing like 35 in a 60 zone. And um Oh gosh. Uh, I hate it when they're when when like two cars in front of you on the highway are doing like half the speed limit and there's like you can't go around them because it's only a two-lane highway and they're like they're neck and neck and they're not they're not like breaking breaking level. And um boy, that's annoying. I'm uh despite what ooh, fun. Somehow didn't. All right, bonk. Real grinding. Yes, that was that was good. That felt good. All right. Um, despite what you probably would would be inferring from this, I uh, not a super aggressive driver in real life. I uh, I'm generally the one who's doing like 65 in the 65 zone in the middle lane, and uh, and getting honked at by like the. Uh, the big ol' F-150 behind me who wants to do, like, 95 in a 65 zone, and... I guess that's... This is what I get for that, I suppose. Uh, running into trucks, having a absolutely terrible score in this, um... In this year... Absurdist arcade racing game, and, uh, can I... Can I break a thousand? Alright. I've only crashed four times that time. That's... We're improving. Uh, my insurance is gonna go after after this. I just know it. Okay, ramp. I do not have the. I still do not have the best control. Again, running off the road right before completing that little uh little drift bonus. I still do not have the best control over over where I go when I go off the ramps and try and do stunts and that sort of thing. Like to uh like to have a little bit more practice with that. We all right. Nope, no, no, uh, no drifting bonus there. Alright, there we go. There we get a drifting bonus. I have not played Mario Kart in a really long time, and I really want to now. Okay, I, uh, I, I went straight through that one billboard. I hope whoever presumably paid a lot of money to have their, uh, their company advertised there doesn't mind that I just put a massive car-shaped hole in it. Um, let's see... I somehow avoided that truck, and I actually did worse than last time. I felt like that was better. I don't think I crashed as often, but I, I, I still managed to do worse that time. Okay, cool. Um, we're on the beach now. All right, welcome to the old uh, New Jersey shore. Oh, God. I suppose, or something like that. This is, I don't know. We seem to be, we seem to have beach on both sides of us. I don't know if this is like... <sighs> Would it be weird to impose like a, a self... Like head cannon on this? Is this like Long Beach Island or something like that? I believe uh, I believe Fabio is like Portuguese. I don't think he uh, has had any intent of, uh, of basing this on any anything in real life. There we go. Bounce off the top of the truck like you're supposed to. That's how they teach you to do it in Driver's Ed instead of uh, instead of trying to go through the side. All right. We bonk. Please, please don't. Um, it's gonna be difficult. All right, grading off the side rail. That's totally normal. I think I ended the race in midair. That was kind of cool. Well, that was better than last time, but I'm still, I'd still like to break a thousand. I really want to break a thousand. All right. So we're in the desert now. We've moved on from the uh, from the beach. Um. I wonder, if I were to scan those QR codes, would anything actually happen? Or are they just like random pixel grids? I have no idea. Um, I'll uh, find that out later, maybe. Alright, so if I just like... It seems like if I just mash the uh, the left trigger when I go off the off the ramps, I, uh, I do stunts without really having to... Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Without really having to put a terrible amount of control into it, which I suppose is, all right, I see I've broken a thousand this time. I suppose that's, uh, that helps. 
Uh, goodbye, car. Um, let's see, let's drift that way. Oh no, crashed right after going off a one of those speed pad things. And okay, 1248. That's definitely better than before. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna keep trying this. I've only been recording this for about, what, 15 minutes now? Like to do a little more. We are back in Green Hill Zone. I believe this actually was called like Green Hill Zone or something uh, early in development um, when it was still running on like temporary art and that sort of thing. I believe, um, I believe it actually just had like a bunch of Sonic the Hedgehog textures and, and that sort of thing. All right. Um, drifting. Alright, we, alright, that was, that was good. That was super satisfying. Um, oh no. Take that, cars. Alright. Gotta go fast. Keeping it in the spirit of things. Um. Oh no. Boost pads, ah. Uh, okay, so the boost pads don't, uh, really going off the road here. The boost pads, um, bonk, bonk, bonk. The boost pads don't really seem to, help you if you're in the process of spinning out when you go over them. And I, I just boosted right into a truck. 620. Alright. That one wasn't quite as good as the last one. Let's uh, let's try this again. Uh, we're back on the beach. I know that there's a... Ow. I know that there's a moon environment in this game. I have not seen it yet. I'm uh, kind of hoping that I get to actually go to the moon before, uh, before I stop playing for the day. We, okay. Goodbye. Move over, Grandpa. Um. Oh no. Alright. Not doing too badly now. Ah, uh, now we're doing badly. Alright, so that's another, the billboards are out to get me. I've also, um, I don't know if the, the police chasing after you are in the demo. I haven't done, if they are, I haven't done really, oh, good, goodbye. I haven't done well enough for them to, to show up and start giving me a hard time. Um, I believe that, I believe that they show up if you, um, if you, like, bonk enough cars, enough of the other cars on the road, but I haven't really, I think the only car I've really been able to, to ram is the, the one that I just did a couple seconds ago, and I believe... I tried to do it there on purpose, it didn't really work. I believe the um, the way that you would do that is uh, hitting them when you uh, when you have a, a boost from a, um, a drift or something like that. Uh, for example, if I can... No, now I'm trying to do it and I can't... Come on, cars. Um, well, that was a nice drift. It wasn't really through a car like I was trying to do. Ah, off the side of the road. That was, that was a mess. Help. And 577. Okay. I'm going to give this one more go. See, I'd like to I'd like to break a thousand again. Uh, this is the last one I'm gonna be racing. I have not gone to the moon, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know what the odds of any particular scene showing up in this uh, in this game is are. Um let's see. Did not did not blast through you, unfortunately. We Once you once you get into like a a rhythm of drifting it's it really does it really does flow pretty well I think but I've I've had trouble getting into that rhythm of like successful drifts uh, especially when I go and bounce off of the of the billboards there bit annoying no cars um, eight seconds left seven Do you get, like, additional time for doing stunts and stuff? I haven't really been paying attention. Anyway, 798, that's at least better. That's probably better than average, better than my average, but it's still not a... Uh, I still feel like you could do way better if you are actually, actually someone who's good at driving games. All right. 
I'm going to return to title. I'm going to do, I think, one round of the, um, of the, uh, the shifty gear. The shifty gear mode. Is this, oh, is this two player only? I was under the impression that, like, the, uh, Okay, no, there uh, you can enter a second player if you want. I was under the impression that um Yeah, you could you could fight CPUs in here if you wanted to. Let's go with the green car with uh with orange flames. I think that looks pretty cool. The AI is still being worked on, don't expect it to do much just yet. That is completely fine. I am going to Um press press down for CPU opponent. Player one. A Oh, this is the CPU. Okay, not a second player. And... Alright, you can be red. Uh, red, I said. You can- you can also have- Let's give you racing stripes. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna fight fire versus racing stripes, whatever that means. Time limit, none, environment, blissful planes. Okay, uh, I was- I was hoping that I could- that I could set the environment to the moon or something, but Blissful Plains works. Okay. Let's see. Alright, I am- I'm like- I don't know what's going on here, and- Goodbye, Bonk. This is- ooh. This is what one might call road rage. Um, do I just have to, like, take you out? I see there's, like, a fighting game- ooh. Going the wrong way. I see there's like a fighting game health meter on the on the screen. Um, it seems to be. I'm the green car. I am winning. I have more health than the other guy. That's cool. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm mashing buttons. This is exactly how I do fighting games. Can I just can I mash both triggers at the same time? Oh god. Goodbye. No, you don't. Uh. I just sort of like it, if cars could body slam. That's probably what what this would have been. All right. You, sir, are gonna have to take a... Are gonna have to... Goodbye. I'm trying to, like, land on your head. How do you... Oh, there's a boost meter at the bottom. That's interesting. And you, you build it up by... You build it up by drifting. Okay. Um... As I was saying, bonk, one of us is gonna be taking a tow truck out of here, and I don't think it's gonna be me. Um, let's see, I can, if I can sort of, like, get behind you and build up, uh, build up a boost and, and, like, ram, ram into you from behind. I just need, you have one pip of health left. Bonk. Yeah! Totaled. Alright, perfect. Player one wins. Good game. Boy, if the AI actually knew what they were doing, I would have been toast there. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to call it for today. This has been Buck Up and Drive. Uh, like I said, I may play more of this, um, once the, uh, once the full game comes out. This may be something that I just post, like, three or four videos of on, like, an off Monday or something like that. We'll see. I do hope in the future that I can play more, uh, more 3D games in Game Maker that people have made. As you can imagine from the stuff that I, uh, that I make, that I make Game Maker tutorials on, this is an aspect of Game Maker that I, that I would like to get more attention from, uh, from more people. Anyway, I'm going to close this game. I'm going to, uh, let's see, can I leave a little review of the demo? Oh, there's a feedback form, right? There's a, there's a feedback form. Um, all right, so, uh, Fabia, I hope this helps. Uh, Buck Up and Drive, uh, V0.2.0D survey. Thanks for giving the early demo a shot. If you have a few minutes to fill in some, uh, fill in some stuff to let me know your thoughts on it, it'd be much appreciated and will be used to make the game better. Um... If, no ver if the version number looks different from above, example 4.2.0, which I believe is uh, Fabio's favorite number, it was in a couple. It was in a couple of the, uh, the game screenshots on the itch page. Uh, the server may no longer be of use to me, and I probably made a new one already. Um, what did you think of the demo? I'm going to give this a four. It was definitely. It definitely had the one more race feel because uh, races are. I don't know if you can call them races if they're if there's only like one person racing in them. But the, uh, I guess the time trials, you could call them. They definitely had the one more race feel. They definitely had, I think I can do a little bit better than that time. It wasn't like completely, completely um, addicting. It's not like I'm going to be sitting here and doing this for the rest of my day. But it was, uh, it was definitely solid. How much time have you spent on it? Um, about a half hour total, if you count the time on this recording. And also before, before I started recording, when I just started 
uh, playing around a little bit to get the feel of it. Uh, which modes did you play? I did Endless Road, Shifty Gear, I did not make card de decals. You pressed Shift F5 in the menu and went Wii. F5 isn't doing anything, but Shift is... Okay, it, the arrow keys are, are, are spinning the car around. This is a nice tune shader, by the way. I believe it's a tune shader. It may not be. It may... Is this a, is this a sphere map? Like, environment mapping? I'm not 100% sure. Like, it's not something I noticed in-game because I was too busy trying to drive, but this is a this is a cool... Like reflective effect. There's definitely an outline. I um, I believe this is what I titled in a video "fake outlines." I believe this is just like an inverted, um, solid solid black color uh, copy of the model being drawn basically underneath or on top of the um the main car model. I don't believe this is a uh, this is like a, a Sabelle filter or anything like that. Just, uh, just, like, looking at the places where the, uh, the outline intersects the car itself, like, on the rear view mirrors. It looks like it's, uh, it looks like it's a, got a little bit of physicality. And, yeah, here, right here, you can actually see the, uh, the outline is a little bit, a little bit misaligned from the car. I'll zoom in on, on what I mean in editing. So, yeah, that's, uh, I hate to call it fake outlines because that makes it sound like a bad way of doing outlines. But it's, um, well, it's not computed on the fly anyway. But, yeah, cool effects. All right, I guess I can. Uh, I guess I can check off that box now. Uh, how did the demo the demo impact you wanting the full game? So that's that's a little bit not applicable because I was going to play this anyway because it, it is a game that's on my radar because it is a, a game that's 3D and game maker and I I do want to just encourage more of that. So I guess I'll check off. Was looking forward to the full game and still am. Uh, used input device was a gamepad. Uh, what did you like most about the game so far? What did you like least about the game so far? All right, I, I guess this can only, my favorite part about the game can only be summed up as gotta go fast. Uh, the least favorite part about the game, on certain, the levels are randomly generated. And for the most part that works, but there are, there are certain, there were certain maps where I feel like it did not generate a lot of interesting, both like ramps that you could stunt off of, or even a lot of curves in the road that were fun to drift around. Uh, so I guess I'll just say game... Uh, without interesting, what would I call them? I'll also specify uh, turns for drifting around. Um, anything with gameplay you had problems getting the hang of? I want to say I, I was able to get into it within about five minutes, which is pretty good overall. I don't think so. It's honestly pretty simple. The controls during shifty gear mode were a little bit like weird and that was really just me mashing buttons, but I guess I'll write that down. All right, just for the uh, just for the sake of of having that written down. Uh any nasty bugs? Nope. Uh your system specs um what is uh what is this whole computer? 7700 I seven 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 zero zero uh ten sixty graphics card with three gigabytes of video memory are really the relevant ones. I have I have a uh, sixteen gigabytes of RAM, but I don't think that was a uh, that has much of that had much of an influence on the game's performance somehow. Uh anything else you wish to add?
All right, I think that sums up my thoughts. I am going to submit this. Uh, Fabio, I hope, uh, I hope development goes well. Uh, once again, if anyone else wants to play this demo and or the full game, uh, look in the video description for a link to the itch.io page. Okay, I do hope I get to play more 3D games in Game Maker in the coming days, weeks, months, years, whatever. I'm pretty sure saying that is going to result in people like writing in requests for me to play their game, and I'm not opposed to doing that, although I'm probably going to prefer playing 3D games in Game Maker that are at least in a in a nearish complete state like this one is. We'll see, there might be a time and place for that. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.